There's a need for a shift. Uh, there's been so much focus on uh, uh, making economic uh, decisions which uh, 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 don't consider the impact on the vulnerable. And uh, in this, uh, a lot of the decisions focus on consumption. We're not looking at sustainability. So it's religious leaders have that role to play in calling on the political leadership to address these issues in a sustainable manner. Because if this is not addressed in a sustainable manner, then the impact greatly affects the marginalized people in the community. A fair international agreement should take into account the interest of all the groups. Uh, uh, we do understand that uh, 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 there are different uh, uh, groups with different interests, but on the negotiating table, because I believe this is something that needs to be negotiated, the views, the concerns of those who are likely to be negatively impacted should be taken into account. Because when you're talking about sustainable development, you also need to ensure that you're not actually, uh, uh, you're not, the gap between the rich is not being increased. It's about uh, ensuring sustainable development, but also considering that the poor need the ecosystems to survive, ensuring that that is not negatively impacted by the economic decisions.